All right, in this video, I'll just give you my thoughts on some of the latest headlines in the news because I'm pretty sure you read the news and, uh, you know, people have an opinion either one side or another. So I'll just give you um, the headlines that I'll cover. I'll just give you, make it short. Uh, Russia and capturing the terrorist, Israel, Palestine, the Baltimore uh, ship crashing, Julian Assange, PDD, then uh, Elon Musk's case, then Arnold having a surgery, then Apple's monopoly, Donald Trump's uh, new Truth Social Boeing, and finally, uh, you know, driverless cars. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay, the video was on. Okay, driverless cars. So I'll give you my thoughts on all this. I'll keep it short. Let me know what are your thoughts. So the first one is the Russian, uh, you know, the Russian, the cops or the intelligence, they captured these bad guys, these terrorists. And it seems they chopped off the ear of one guy. One other video that I saw in my group is they're putting electric shock for their testicles. The third one, it seems they beat him up so badly he could not even walk. Uh, and uh, there are a lot of, you know, theories or claims that they smashed and smashed their fingers and you know, cut it off and chopped it and this and that. I, I'll i tell you, and many people are saying, oh, this is torture and you shouldn't do this. I have seriously no pity, no empathy, no... I don't have an iota of feeling sad for them. And I, I call upon the double standards of whoever questions, especially if USA, USA, what it did in Guantanamo Bay, and remember this, whenever a country catches terrorists, don't expect VIP treatment and treat them like humans. They are not humans. They're not even fit to be called animals. So if they are tortured, tormented, sliced off their ears, nose, chopped off their hands and fingers, these people have killed innocent men, women and children, families. Imagine if someone had done that to your wife or your baby or your father. Would you say, no, treat him like a human? Yeah, I've heard of people saying forgiveness. and This is all bullshit here. Yeah. They deserve as much pain, as much torture, as much whatever for killing those 100 plus people. So I have zero, absolutely zero sympathy, care, affection, understanding for these terrorists. I would say Russians are doing the right thing. And you should check some of the uh, videos there was one movie with uh, uh, Benedict, uh, uh, I can't get the name here, The Courier, The Courier, you need to see that. Uh, Cumberback Benedict, he was acting in that. He is, it's a true story where he gets caught up in spying for, spying for USA in Russia and how they put him in prison and torture him. So it'll be nothing short of that. So do watch it if you want. Next one is about Israel and Palestine. I've told you this, I don't have any vested interest in Israel, I don't have any vested interest in Palestine, but I do have, you know, I feel for the countless number of innocent families, men, women, children, who are suffering in Palestine. Um, they don't have food to eat, they're living in the sewage, they don't have place to even go to the toilet, they don't have water. I mean, and you know, people are making fun of these people or something. They have nothing got to do with the war. So yes, 1,200 people died in Israel through Hamas, which was bad. But should we ignore 32,000 who are killed in exchange of this? So do you balance that? Is that okay? So where do you stop? Where do you say, no, this is not right? I've seen videos of small children, small baby girls, the intestines are hanging out, the legs are squished, dangling flesh and the fathers are holding them and sobbing. The one baby's half brain was out and the father's crying. So is that okay? So that's how you balance it. That's why I have uh, even Ben Shapiro and all these, they're saying, no, they have to pay the price for it. I lost respect for a lot of people and I've personally... Uh, removed these people from my social connections. Those who gloat and feel happy that some innocent family is killed. And then there are these Indians. 
or like yeah they are muslims so they should i i just hate this whether hindu muslim christian jew whatever if it's an innocent human being regardless of the religion innocent person innocent family just imagine if it happened to your family imagine it happened to my family would the response be that kill every innocent person come on man so finally us abstained from voting in the un the thing and the resolution got passed i just hope this blood shed this cleansing seriously stops it's it's seriously crazy yeah anyway next one is baltimore the ship crashing truly tragic a lot of these videos are being circulated i've seen some of them and um, the captain of the ship is always held responsible any accident and once they have an accident the captain never gets any other assignment or job or contract because it's permanently etched in his profile it seems the power there was a power failure and the ship kept sailing and hit the you know the support beam and then all the uh, the entire bridge came down and all the cars and all the people really a tragic event all news outlets are covering it so it's sad julian assange it seems uh uk has decided not to extradite him to us very surprising i didn't think they would do that but he is a man who has exposed uh the hypocrisy of the media and the government i don't think he should be made to suffer he has suffered so badly so much so that he is psychological you know the thing has been affected he was even defecating or shitting around and you know putting shit on the walls and all that i just hope uh, he gets the medical attention he deserves because it's not right what they're doing one is him one is the other guy i can't get it edward snowden so uh, two people who really are the champions of truth and they're fighting against entire country a government a corrupt government anyway then uh, pdd Sean Diddy is a target of investigation homeland security it seems uh, they raided his house and took down it seems he targets he has been target he did target young children uh, when they were young so if he's a pedophile he needs to pay the price i have no sympathy or pity for pedophiles absolutely not whatsoever and i'm pretty sure his career is all but over uh and then elon musk it seems he was you know they'll keep targeting him the woke uh media and the woke left so it seems that uh, he had a case against him for hate speech but the judge it seems now has tossed out the case so another victory for him and by the way he struck uh the tesla it seems almost every youtuber who purchased it Uh, they are busy shooting for youtube views to show whether the door can handle bullets and all that it seems one of the chief engineers re- rebuked and requested stop doing that because you're damaging the car and we are sending it back and it'll cost us a fortune to repair well once person buys a car you can't question them right so uh, anyway next one is arnold schwarzenegger got a pacemaker fitted i mean nothing but admiration for this guy he is nearly 70 and still going on he's a very hard worker he still goes to the gym something you and i could not cannot fathom doing yeah but at his age he's still doing it he'll always be a legend but his body is failing him one by one it's just a matter of time before he dies you know so in 1997 he went through a pulmonic valve replacement which helps blood flow from the heart to lungs it's all because of steroids and 2018 he had a open heart surgery 2 years later he had a aortic valve in fact one time he had a surgery and he didn't give time to heal immediately after the surgery he went to do weights he did so badly he ruptured all the stitches and all that he had to undergo surgery again sometimes i feel is a little crazy but he is a lovable person a legend and i'll tell you nobody can replace him if he dies it'll be a sad day for the movie industry for the bodybuilding industry and millions billions will pour in to you know pay their respects to him nothing but love for this man uh next one is apple being sued for monopoly and that of the us i never thought us would sue its own 
uh, you know, golden goose. But uh, a, this will take time. It'll take at least five, ten years, whatever. Or they might settle it out of court. Or uh, if they feel the, you know, it's affecting their sales, they'll settle it out of court. They'll open up uh, maybe the app store or whatever. But I doubt it's going to be so easy because the Apple store is a major revenue generator for them. And um, um, I don't know much about the message because, uh, you know, but one thing is they don't allow you to message from iPhone to Android. So that is a major problem there. The other problem is they charge 30% for every seller who's on uh, App Store. So that is definitely a monopoly. Then Donald Trump's uh, Truth Social Media, it seems the firm stores and stock, it's being evaluated at billions. Well, good for him because, you know, that was his brainchild and there is still a massive brand value that he has and brings to the table. So nothing but respect for that guy. Boeing chief Davos Calhoun to leave as, fa as the firm faces safety crisis. There are a bunch of crooks. I hope they get uh, jailed uh, if they are found guilty. They have played with people's lives just to get their bonus and just to give the stockholders what they want. Just imagine you travel on the aircraft with your family and uh, two planes have already crashed because of these people. They have to pay the price here. So he resigned, I don't know, maybe to escape punishment, but I hope they find out who's guilty and they punish those people. And lastly, this driverless cars, uh, too much of hype about them. I'm not a fan of these driverless cars. I just think it's too futuristic and uh, people can take advantage. One of the videos I saw is where they're breaking the cars and hitting the windows and putting fire inside and blocking it with all sorts of, you know, uh, stuff and also uh, I don't think it's safe last but not the least because people ask about Bitcoin I've just lost interest in this Bitcoin thing it'll go up it'll go down it'll go up it'll go down only for people who have invested in it good for you if you make money for others I, I just find it pointless what what do you do with a Bitcoin do you buy something or do you just wait for it to go up 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 and then you sell and make money what else? What other function is it? It's nothing but gambling and wanting to make easy money. I put thousand. If I get hundred thousand, yay! It's a great uh, investment. Some bullshit here. Uh, do you think anyone is going to use Bitcoin to buy and sell things, or buy something? You'll say if I buy now, oh, the price will go up. I'll never buy. It's just bullshit coin and whatever. You, if you have the money, put it into it and hope you make tons of money. People say, I'm butt hurt. I didn't. I don't care about it. I don't want it. I'm not desperate for it. Anyway, these are my thoughts for all these different pieces of news. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Good, bad, ugly. Love to hear from you. This is me signing off. You guys take care.